Hello my brothers and sisters in Christ. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. In today's message, I will be sharing, you know, um, a comment from a brother. So you know guys, I got a comment from a brother five hours ago on one of my videos called Miracle Testimony. You know guys, the name's man is Robert Roberto Medina. So this, this was five hours ago. You know guys, before I share this, I just want to say here on YouTube, I get a lot of comments, you know, guys, from a lot of different kinds of people, you know, guys, and um, as you'll see in the picture, you know, um, I just try to love on these people, but this one made me laugh so hard that I had to share it, you know, guys, um, Roberto Medina, you know, told me that if I don't get rid of my television, that I'll be going to hell, you know, guys, and I think this is ironic because, you know, guys, for instance, a kitchen knife, a kitchen knife can be used for cutting tomatoes and meat and preparing your meal, or a kitchen knife can be, can be used for killing someone. In the same way, the internet can be used to, um, you know, do internet banking. It can be used you know, um, to start a business, to make videos on YouTube and to, to, you know, share videos on YouTube, or it can be used, you know, for organized crime. It can be used for, you know, um, perverted things, you know, sinful things, you know, guys, in the same way, a television is just a, something that you view, you know, guys, obviously, you know, if you're using the television to watch things that are sinful, Yes, by all means, if God has spoken to you to get rid of your TV, get rid of your TV. There were times in my life, with, in my walk with the Lord, that the Lord put it on my heart, I believe, to get rid of my TV. And I stopped watching TV for a time. So I can understand why, you know, Roberto Medina, you know, brother, you know, brother, uh, brother Roberto can be saying, you know, get rid of your TV or else you're going to go to hell. You know, guys, I can understand where he's coming from, because on TV, there are a lot of sinful things. But, you know, guys, I just want to share with you, um, Roberto Medina, brother, that um, I only use my TV for watching, you know, um, preachings and, you know, Bible studies and um, basically things to do with theology and testimonies and, um, you know, to watch Christian, you know, content. So, you know, guys, um, I just quickly want to share that Jesus says, do not judge because the measure that you judge, it will be judged upon you, you know, guys. And I just simply want to share, you know, guys, I understand that, you know, guys, when we first become saved and born again, when we're on fire for Christ, we may be a babe in Christ. And, you know, God is speaking to us saying, don't eat chocolate because it's bad for you. You know, donate KFC because it's bad for you. You know, keep, you know, etc., etc. You know, if God is telling you not to eat chocolate and not to eat KFC, if that is a sin for you, like Paul says, you know, then don't do it. But if you go around telling people, you know, you're eating a chocolate bar, you're going to hell. You know, you're eating KFC, so you're going to go to hell. That is not the way of Jesus Christ. Jesus came not to judge the world, but to save the world. In the same way, a born-again believer's heart is, you know, um, to help people, to point people to Jesus. You know, guys, shame, guilt, and condemnation comes from the devil. You know, guys. So I simply want to make this message, you know, guys, this morning. You know, and um, brother, I'm, I'm laughing at your comment, Roberto Medina. You know, um, I'll put it up in... You know, guys, I'll put a picture up so you can see it right now. Um, you know, guys, it's just crazy, you know, guys. Like I said, I've been there. I've done that. When you're overzealous or you're, you, you don't know the Lord or, you know, maybe you're in like a religious kind of mindset, you know, and you go around condemning people saying, you know, get rid of your TV or you're going to go to hell. You know, um, get rid of, you know... Um, all the chocolate in your pantry or you're going to go to hell. That's ridiculous, you know, guys. Like I said before, it's like saying if you have a kitchen knife, 
then you're going to go to hell. No, you can use the kitchen knife to cut the vegetables, to cut the fruit, to cut the meat, to use it for what it was made for. Or you can use the kitchen knife to go around killing people. You know, guys, in the same way, a TV, you know, you can use a TV to watch Christian um, content or you can watch a TV to to watch sinful content. You know, guys, so Brother R Roberto, you know, that's that's a ridiculous judgment that you've put on me. Um, I forgive you, of course, because I've been there and I've done that, you know, where you get too overzealous and over religious. But, you know, Jesus says, do not judge. Because the measure that you judge, you will be judged. And this message is not to judge you, brother. It's a brother, um, it's a message rather, to just to show you how ridiculous, you know, um, your comment was. You know, guys, and I will be making videos on people's comments from now on. You know, guys, if they're really just like, if they, if they crack me up or make me laugh, you know, guys, um, you know, guys, because to say that you're going to go to hell if you don't get rid of your TV is ridiculous unless unless my brother unless my sister unless the holy spirit or god speaks directly to you and tells you that this is a sin for you then you get rid of it immediately and i have done that in the past but just because god told you something in your own personal life it doesn't mean that god wants you to go around dictating to other believers and telling them that's wrong because it might not be wrong for them but it might be wrong for you you know paul talks about this in the in um I think it's Romans or Ephesians. Jesus loves you, Brother Roberto. And um, I hope that you enjoy this video. And I hope that it opens your eyes not to judge other believers and, you know, to be led by the Holy Spirit. So God bless you. Bye.